guys, it's Devin, and today I'm going to do my September favorites and flops. Um, ignore the big old pile of clothes behind me. I'm in the process of switching out, you know, all my summer stuff for my winter stuff. Thank goodness, finally. Um, and let me know what you think about these earrings in the down bar, please, because I really like the colors of them, but they're a lot longer than I thought they would be, and I don't... I've never really worn earrings this long, so I don't know don't know if I like them. But you guys let me know what you think. And if you guys say they look good, then I'll believe you and I will wear them. Um, so I've got quite a bit of stuff here, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with my flops, a.k.a. the stuff that I really didn't like. Aside from one thing that I kind of did like, but I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, this is my old razor and it is the chic or chic however you pronounce it i pronounce it chic hydra silk for women i thought this was going to be you know as good as my venus i thought it was going to uh i just thought i was going to like it and i had a coupon for it a few months back so i bought it this is awful this razor gave me razor burn something severe i actually i've never used shaving cream like my entire life i've never used shaving cream except for probably when i was a teenager just because i thought you had to use shaving cream and i did but for as long as i can remember in my adult life i've always used venus razors and i've never used shaving cream i never had to i never got razor burn I, nothing i just used my regular shower gel and that's how I shave. With this, I had to use shaving cream every single time I used it, even under my arms, because if not, it would leave the worst razor burn ever. It would look awful. I hate this. It's disgusting. Don't buy it. Um, my second flop is the EOS hand cream. Now, this is in cucumber, cucumber melon, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't say. It smells really good. But, and it would, it would be really good to stick in your purse and carry it around, you know, just for a little, if you put hand cream on during the day or whatever. I prefer a thicker hand cream. I prefer the L'Occitane hand cream or the, um, the Body Shop hand cream, like their hemp hand cream. I don't like the smell, but I prefer the thick, um, really moisturizing texture of those kind of hand creams because I use my hand cream at night. Um, I'm not a big one to use hand cream during the day and um, this just did not work for me at all. It's really thin. It's fragrant but it doesn't feel like it's doing a lot. Um, it doesn't feel like it gives me a lot of moisture so nah, this was a no for me. Um, my next flop is just a flop for me and it is the eyes uh, the It's Potent Eye Cream from Benefit. It's the little sample. Now, I'm not saying this is not good because it actually is very moisturizing. But I am 31. <clears throat> I just turned 31 last week. And I'm looking more for something that's not only going to give me moisture, but is also going to have really good anti-aging properties in it. And while this claims to combat fine lines and wrinkles, it doesn't. This would be really, really good for um, someone who's younger, maybe in their early teens, early 20s, someone who really um, just needs the moisturization, doesn't have to worry about um, the anti-aging properties yet. This would be good for them, but for me, it's not good um, just because I am looking for more anti-aging and moisture than just moisture so that's why that wasn't that didn't work out for me but by all means if you're just looking for moisture that's probably a pretty good one to try um the next one is something that i debated back and forth and back and forth on as to whether it was going to be a favorite or whether it was going to be a flop and for me it has to be a flop and it's the naked skin Urban Decay Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. Now, it came with, the sample came with four shades, and I used the 2.0 and the 3.5. I obviously wasn't able to use the 4.0 or the 8.0, but I used these two, and I got two uses out of each sample, and it just, 
my skin is not oily and my skin is not dry my skin is just normal it's just there um every once in a while i'll get a blemish or two hence these awful things on my forehead but i really don't break out much anymore um this foundation to me just felt really drying which is kind of weird because it's an extremely liquidy texture and when i mean liquidy like if you hold your hand up after you put it on the back of your hand it's going to roll down your arm it's very very liquidy um for me it it felt really drying um not too long after i put it on and even using my um all-nighter spray I tried it with a primer, I tried it without a primer, and every single time it just felt really dry and it felt really icky, and for it to be a weightless foundation, it felt heavy on my skin. It is buildable. It will build up to a full coverage. Um, I didn't have to use a concealer with it once I built it up, so I mean that is good if that's something you're looking for. Um, and it also, it, it settled in like my laugh lines right here. And I do not have makeup settle in my laugh lines. Like it, it was the first foundation that I've ever used that settled in my laugh lines. And I was like, okay. So that was kind of, you know, that and the fact that it just feels heavy and it feels really drying to me. And it didn't wear well. It settled, you know, it just settled. So I feel like if you're an older woman and you have more wrinkles or, you know, you just have issues with things settling in your face, this probably isn't going to work for you. I always recommend, though, for everybody to go out and get a sample at your local Sephora if you have one. Um, because foundation's different for everybody. I think I'm the only person that I've heard other than, oh, other than, um, Pixie Woo, one of the Pixie Woo sisters, Sam, she didn't like it either. But um, I think I'm the only other person besides her that I've heard that doesn't like this foundation. I think everybody really likes it. It's just, that's my experience with it. I didn't like it. I will not be purchasing the full size. Um, but I always recommend that you guys go out and try it for yourself because everybody's different. And what I don't like, you guys may love. So now on to my favorites. I feel like I've got a shit ton of favorites sitting here. Okay, so my first favorite is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub Invigorating. It's an exfoliator. It's a little travel size. I got it on clearance for like a dollar something and I needed a new exfoliator. And I actually really, really like this one. Um, it just, it's good. It's got the, you know, I like more abrasive exfoliator and it's a definitely a more abrasive exfoliator. It's oil free. Um, it just really makes my skin feel good and exfoliated. It gets rid of the dry patches. I'm, I'm prepping for the Abaji Blue Peel, which I'm kind of freaked out to get, but that's okay. I'm going to get it. Um, I'm getting it, I think, the second or third week in October, and I've been prepping for it. Um, she wanted me to prep for eight weeks, so I've been prepping for it already for four and a half or five, and... I, the only thing that I can use at night is a um, my retinol and the Obagi blender, which is a um, it's a white cream and it's 4% hydroquinone cream, which is a bleaching agent. And I just put one strip of each one of those on my finger and I rub them together and pat them on my face. And that's the only thing that I can use at night. She doesn't want me to put any moisturizer over that. Um, she doesn't want me to put any serums on before that. Nothing. Just strictly wash my face and put that on. So I have been getting dry patches right here and around here and stuff from, I guess, from the retinol because I normally, I use retinol, but I normally use it maybe three, four times a week. I don't use it every single night. Um, so I have been getting dry patches and this gets rid of it. I love it. It's, uh, you know, it's good. It's a cheap alternative to, um, you know, more expensive exfoliators like my favorite one, which is the Ocean Salt, but it's really expensive, so I just grabbed this, and I like it. Um, the next thing is a perfume. 
and I'm not even going to begin to describe the, the smells or the notes or anything, but it's the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I know she's got a new one out now that's in a red bottle. I haven't smelled it yet, though. First of all, this packaging is so freaking cute, I could just scream. And it just smells so good. It's like a... I don't know. It just it smells kind of fruity to me. It doesn't have... It doesn't have a floral scent to me, and it just, it really, you know, perfume is kind of like foundation. It reacts differently with everybody, and when I put this on me with my pH balance or whatever the hell it is that makes perfume smell different on everybody, um, on me it smells really sweet. It just smells really good and sweet and, um, and fresh. I really, really like it. If you haven't tried it, I suggest that you squirt it next time you go into Ulta, Sephora, or wherever, because I think they've got it just about everywhere. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And then the next two things are nail polishes. I've literally been wearing nothing but these two polishes all month long. The first one is, got a hair on it. Um, anyway, the first one is Grave Mistake by Orly. It's from the Dark Shadows collection. Um, I don't know if you can still get it at Ulta, which is where I got mine, but it is a gorgeous, dark, berry red. It's, it's so pretty. I just, I, I love this. I, I'm actually going to put it on my nails next. So, not only is it going to be my September favorite, but it's going to continue on into October because I just love this color so much. And then the color that I have on right now that I have been putting on when I take that one off is, um, it's from Berry M. And I guess it's color 292. Anyway, it's just this really pretty navy color. I'm like really loving reds and navy and reds and navies. Basically, I'm just, I'm loving. I'm obsessed with, like, I want to be navy. I just, I, I'm loving those two colors right now. Um, so yeah, love those two polishes. Another one of my favorites is the EOS Lip Balm, and this came out of the, um, the Alice in Wonderland set that I showed you guys in my last haul that I think is exclusive to Target. If you guys can get it, I would get that. It was $7.99 and it came with three of these. I gave the watermelon one to my mom. I've got the blueberry one in my purse and this is the vanilla one and I keep it by my bed. And these are so good. I'm so happy about the formulation of these because the other EOS, the only other EOS lip balm that I had liked was the lemon one. Um, I had tried a couple of the other ones, but they just were not as moisturizing as the lemon one was. This one is. So is the blueberry one. And my mom really likes the watermelon one. Um, she's not as picky as I am, though, so I don't, I don't know about that one. But I know that those two are just as good as the lemon one. So if you're like me and you love the lemon one, but you haven't really liked any of the other ones, I would suggest trying this little set out because... It's really, really good, and they smell good, and they freaking taste fantastic. I mean, seriously, it's like you want to eat your lip. It's really good. Um, my next favorite is the Benefit What's Up. And it just, you know, I just got this little sample from a um, little black bag. And it's just, I've got it on today. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a gorgeous highlighter. I love it. However, I will say, if you've got High Beam by Benefit, I don't feel like you need the Watts Up as well. I feel like the Benefit High Beam and the Benefit Watts Up are basically the same thing, except the Watts Up is in a stick formula and the High Beam is a liquid formula. So, one or the other, I wouldn't get both. Um, if I, I mean, I've already got the high beam, so I won't be buying the full size of this one. And if I had to pick just one between the two, I would probably go with, I'd probably still go with the high beam. Just because, I don't know, just because that was my favorite before this one and... I, I don't know. I just, I think they're both great. If you can only pick one, you're not going to go wrong either way. So, um, they're both really, really good. I really like this highlighter. Another one of my favorites is the Maybelline Eye Studio Limited Edition Quad in Smoky Cinnamon. This is one of the ones that I hauled from Ulta in my last haul. I got 
the olive martini one as well. But I haven't used it as much this month, so I can't really tell you that it's my, you know, it's one of my favorites. But I have used this one quite a bit this month since I got it, and I just love it. It just, it, it looks phenomenal on the eyes. I'm so impressed with it, guys. Seriously, I... I don't know. I feel so silly because I, I use all these higher-end products and I'll continue to buy the higher-end products just because that's, um, you know, or the mid-range products just because that's where I gravitate towards. But these are very highly pigmented. They stay on all day. They blend easily. I don't notice any fading at the end of the day. It's still just as nice and vibrant as it was when I put it on. And I think they were like eight dollars I'm wanting to say so you get four great eyeshadows that make a fantastic look in and of itself I mean this I mean it's gorgeous it's, it's just gorgeous and I think it's perfect for fall I love this and another one of my favorites I told you guys I have a lot um is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. My color is in 125 Fair, and I really like this stuff. It really, um, it's got that tip, you know, mine's dirty, obviously, and you squeeze it out instead of twisting it up, but um, I really, really like it. I just, I put it in like a, you know, a V or triangle shape or whatever under my eye, and then I blend it out with my Real Techniques brush, and it really does brighten my under eye area. I really, really like it. It does settle into my fine lines up around here, but I mean, I haven't found a concealer yet that doesn't settle, except for the YSL Touche Claw, and um, that's like $42, so, you know, there's a huge price point difference. Um, but other than that, I mean, this is a fantastic concealer. It really does brighten the eye area. I really, really like it. Um, and last but not least is my Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay. Now, I know this was limited edition. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying eBay or Amazon for it because it's probably going to be ridiculously expensive. I got mine on Makeup Alley um, a few months ago, which Makeup Alley is just like a place where you go and you trade makeup that you don't want for, you know, other people that have makeup they don't want and you guys just send each other the stuff. You, it doesn't cost anything. You're just trading out, you know, for stuff that you want. And that's how I got this. And the two colors that I have been loving the most, I've been doing these when I just really want to be lazy about my eyes. I've been putting Drink Me, Eat Me. Sounds really perverted. Um, <laughs> Drink Me, Eat Me all over my lid. And then I have been putting Mushroom just in my crease and that just makes for the most gorgeous just the most gorgeous eye. I love it. It's simple, yet it's defined, and put some mascara on, and you're good to go. Uh, I will say, if you like matte colors, this is not going to be the palette for you, because I don't think there's any in it. They're all really, really shimmery, but if you get a chance to get your hands on this, I would suggest it, because um, I really, really like it. And I know Mushroom is in the, um, I believe, the new Urban Decay Smoked Palette, and... I mean, there's plenty, you know, if you have one or two Urban Decay palettes, you can probably dupe the majority of these colors, you know, because they have, like, the repeat colors in their palettes, and they rename the exact same color in their palettes, so, um, you could probably find dupes for all those colors, honestly, but that's what I've been loving, and... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, my mind just went totally blank. was going to say something. Completely forgot. Uh, yeah. It's gone. I don't know where it went. But anyway, let me know if you like these earrings or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Have a good week. And bye.